All right, I guess I'll start off by introducing myself. My name is Jay. I've done a show for Fitness Mansers before on balance. I was a guest vlogger. I'm going to be the regular Tuesday vlogger from now on on Fitness Mansers, which I would like to thank Steve for that opportunity. My channel is under the username CashPath. I'll put a link in the sidebar. Today's kind of a crappy day. It's a storm blowing in. It's supposed to be a bunch of snow, blizzards, and stuff. I think that kind of shows in my attitude. So I'll apologize for that. My videos won't always be as dull as this one. You can hear the ice hitting the window out there. A little bit about myself. I was in the Marine Corps for four years. Uh, I was in great shape when I was in the Marine Corps. When I got out of the Marine Corps, I didn't exercise near as much as I did when I was in. I think that happens to a lot of uh, service members or athletes. It's normal for them to burn seven eight thousand calories a day so they're used to eating that much then they get out not exercising that much anymore and so they gain weight a couple years after i got out i was up to 250 pounds and i've pretty much been battling that ever since uh, when i first got out of the marine corps i actually got certified to be a personal trainer I, and uh, i did that for a short time and then i quit and that's pretty much when the weight gain started i started getting into the YouTube weight loss community about a year ago. Uh, at that point my weight was probably about 210 pounds and I have fluctuated between that 210 pounds and around 195, 15 pounds up and down over the last year and right now I'm kind of at an up point again. Ultimate goal for me would be somewhere around 185. That's what, what I'm trying for is to get to that point and to stay there. So, the topic of the week is calorie counting and whether or not it works for us, for you, for me, whatever. Does calorie counting work? My answer to this question is probably going to be the same to any, the answer I give to, to any question about whether or not something that people use as a tool for weight loss or weight gain because people could count calories for weight gain. And that's going to be that, yes, it works. If you ask me, does Atkins work? Yes, it works. Does the South Beach Diet work? Yes, it works. Does Weight Watchers? Uh, Jess, she's done Weight Watchers. I've watched her videos for the past year. What is Weight Watchers? Weight Watchers is basically calorie counting. Does calorie counting work? Well, watch, go look at Jess's videos. Of course it works. It all works. I don't think anybody really gains weight or fails while sticking to whatever program they've chosen to be on. I, 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 there's not very many people who are on Atkins and say, hey, I've been doing Atkins for a month and I've gained 15 pounds. What am I doing wrong? I've done everything it's told me to and I've gained 15 pounds. If you're on Atkins for a month, chances are you've lost weight. If you've calorie counted for a month, chances are you've lost weight, especially if you're exercising. The key is to have a program that you're sticking to. Mm. I've done calorie counting multiple times and every time I've done calorie counting, uh, my little weight chart has always looked like that. It's always gone weight here while I'm calorie counting and it goes down. I lose weight while I'm calorie counting. It's when I quit calorie counting, it's when I quit tracking my calories that I shoot back up and I that's never on the chart because uh, n never am I counting calories and my weight is going up. Um, whenever I'm tracking, counting calories, working out, I seem to always lose weight and get in better shape. It's when I stop. I think pretty much everybody, it's when they fall off the wagon of whatever program they're on that, that they gain the weight back. It's a constant struggle. It is not a simple calorie in, calorie out equation. It's a complicated calorie in, calorie out equation. The reason being is that your body is not necessarily going to utilize all of the calories that you put into it. You also are never really going to be 100% sure of how many calories your body burns. If there was a way for you to know exactly how many calories of the calories that you put in, your body utilized. And a way for you to know exactly how many calories are the, that your body burnt over a course of 24 hours then yes, it would be simple. If there was something you could implant in your body and it was perfectly exact and it told you 
this is how many calories. Let's say you eat 3,000 calories. Chances are that whole 3,000 calories is not going to be used by your body. Some of it is going to be expelled, not utilized. And but So let's say you ate the 3,000. Let's say there's something in your body. You could put a little plug in your body, and it would tell you, hey, you utilized 2,400 calories of that. Now let's say there was another little plug that told you, hey, you have burnt 2,900 calories today. Well, then you know what? If it was exact, if they could tell you exact, you're going to lose a pound a week. You may lose more than a pound a week, actually, because there are less calories in a pound of muscle than there are in a pound of fat. No, it's not an exact science. Yes, there's been a lot of studies done on it. But the question was, does calorie counting work for me? And yes, it works. I've done Atkins. It worked. I've done the South Beach diet. It worked. I've done the Dr. Phil thing. It worked. I've done Weight Watchers. It worked. Pretty much everything I have done has worked. The biggest thing that you need is something to look forward to. You know, it, it, we have goals, but then why? Why do you want to reach that goal? If you had something that specifically to look forward to that you knew, if I reach this goal, this will happen, and it's something you really wanted, reaching that goal would be a lot easier. I'll see you guys next Tuesday. Peace out.